Alright, so we're going to go over a really important part right there. of this game. Right. And that's going to be get up options. So explain get up options. Like, what exactly does that mean? Get up options. Knowing your options when waking up off the ground. It's very important. Okay, so comparing this to a game like Smash Brothers and a lot of other fighters, actually, there's usually buttons you can press as you hit a ground <coughs> kind of text. Uh, there is there is no teching in this game. Mm -hmm. There's absolutely no tech. So what happens is when I knock somebody down, the first thing I'm going to go over is when you get up in place. Getting up in place is one of the best options to do mm -hmm. because block and wake up. Block and wake up. You can block that. I'm yeah. going to knock you down again. Block. You can block on wake up if you stand up. Like you're completely invincible as long as you're blocking. Mm -hmm. The problem with that is block again. You can get grabbed. Yep. So yeah. how do you counter that? You jump. Jumping is either frame one or frame two, and you have an invincibility frame when you wake up. Well, I want to clarify because the options of getting up in this game are kind of different than a lot of games. Like I mean, button-wise, if you don't hold or press any buttons, you, you get automatically up, get up. You get up right away, like as soon as you possibly can. Now, in order to stay down on the ground, like watch, knock me down. If I'm holding the block button, I stay down for longer, which you'll <coughs> notice, and then as soon as I let go of it is when I get up. Hold it as long as you can. Yep. You're down for a pretty good amount of time. <coughs> or while you're down, either when you're holding block, like hit me down on the ground, you can press left or right to roll out of it. Oops. And that's while holding block, so you hold block to stay down, and then you roll out of it. Or I believe when you get down, you can just hold left or right. To roll right, okay. yeah. The problem with rolling left and right is you actually are vulnerable and wake up unlike standing up normally. Yes. Roll to the right, can't block yep. that. Do it again, left side. You are not, you are vulnerable, you cannot block that, and that leads to a lot of combos. So, you knock them on the ground, you predict or like can like condition your opponent to get up whichever way, and then you can start your combo right there from your uh, neutral light air attack. So the thing about grab on wa grabbing people on wake up is it's overpowered until I figured out one thing. Mm -hmm. Try to roll to the right real quick. All right, to the right. Uh, roll left. I'm uh, oh, sorry. Roll left. Doctor made roll left again. Uh, so it's almost like then, a then, like, then roll it right or some shit. Okay. Like you keep doing that, like a tech chasing. So you do that, and you can randomly get up in place. I can still do it. But how do you avoid that on wake up? You jump. I want you to jump. I'll try something. I've never actually tried it. If I can just hold the jump button, will it jump on frame one? I don't think so. No, he does not. Okay. So you have so to basically just jump on wake up. Can't grab it. Now grabs in this game. Mash jump again. Make sure. Or... Even if I'm right in front of you, as long as my feet are off the ground, I can't get grabbed. Yes, you have to be grounded. And since we <coughs> saw earlier when I was able to block on wake up, you're basically actionable on frame one. So, if I'm jumping on frame one and jumps are one I frame... Act I actually think... Jumps are approximately one frame, you think? Like I don't, for some reason, I don't think they're one frame because uh, I'm going to knock you down. I want you to spam jump, okay? Do it again. Oh, let me... Keep doing it. Interesting. Keep doing it. I get, keep, uh, keep you doing have to it. predict it, though. Go keep, just keep doing it. Because before I knocked Raiden back down where he's like... Now another reason why, why this is working is because when I'm jumping, I don't have any invincibility frames, obviously. However... But I can't... For some reason, on certain frames, you can still, mm -hmm. like... I can, can air you, dodge. You can keep them grounded. I get up. It's a little tough, though. It's like... I think for jumping might be frame two. Okay. I I could see that kind of... Like, it almost <coughs> looks like there's some kind of animation, but it gets really really minimal compared to other fighting games too. I think if you're in the jump animation you cannot get grabbed like even in the beginning of it mm -hmm. uh, but you can still get hit while grounded in that animation which is why I can do that to him if he tries to jump and we don't have the frame data available but I feel like air dodging is also incredibly fast like jump yeah it's like it's happened I, I don't know if the invincibility frame start right away I don't I'm think, I think it's when I'm blinking yeah, it's when you're playing. So, 
That's really fast for air dodging, so watch, wow, like, try to follow up on me, like, after I jump on, uh, wake up. Oops, it's really hard to do. How about you knock me down? <laughs> what move? Uh, I don't Down you square. Down, down square? That's not square, my bad. So right. you can air dodge also on wake up. But the main the main way to be grabbing on wake up is what I'm about to show you. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm gonna knock you down. Okay. Just wait. The beat grab. Oh, did I already say it? To what? Knock me down and try to grab me on wake up. This is the main way you beat grabs. Do it again. Knock me down. I'm sorry. Wrong grab button. Yeah. Just just. Oh, well, besides Tation Tooth, I want to do level 1, but that's a kill. Yeah. It's because you're... Uh, I'm in the air. Your sword attack, which is your neutral light uh, attack, it actually combos into his level 1. And also, if, if they block, it has basically zero block stun, right? Because you land and uh, he can He can do double. Well, the thing about that is block it real quick. Can't punish that. Oh, yeah, you push push me back a little bit. Okay. And if I do a low one, try to punish this at all. Oh, do it again. Can't punish that. Okay. <coughs> so with a grab at least. Yeah. Because I'm all, because right. try to try to grab this. I can't. Try try, oh. try. Like it's impossible to yeah. grab. Now, do you think any characters in this game have like? significantly longer grab ranges than others that might be able to look at my grab I feel like yeah almost every grab in the game is now look at big daddy his is almost the same kind of he, he grabs like Ganon yeah. <laughs> but they're all about the same I find it harder to grab smaller characters for some reason I don't know why. Mm -hmm. okay <laughs> all right so the Let's review the options. There's a lot of moves in this game there's that will one more instantly... One? Oh, there's, there's one more option. Okay, it's so uh, rolling on wake up. After you get up in place, rolling. Uh, that can work if you think they're going to attack you and you want to get out for free. So the instead of being on the ground and rolling, you're going to get up all the way and on frame one, roll. The, the problem with that is you don't you never roll into them. Mm -hmm. Or even in the beginning of your roll, just try doing it. You can't do it. Because grab will grab you out of your roll. So you're still involved. Like, it's... It's not unlike air dodging, option. unlike jumping, rolling is a little bit slower, and you are vulnerable at the beginning of it. So you can probably just jab me, or even I don't. I don't think so. I think you're invincible. It's just grabs are different. Try rolling. Just try rolling. No, it's just grabs. Okay. Grabs can grab rolls. I'm gonna go left. So that's very interesting to know. Why well, do that slow? Do it again. It's like really fast. Yeah. If you do like that. But rolling into them is like death. Like I tried to roll away. That I, time. I saw. Yeah, that's. Yeah. And you were able to grab me while I'm like moving away from you. It's that quickly. Try to hit me. <laughs> <laughs> now, all right. So, sweet tooth is a try to shield. <laughs> it's a character that you made. What are some of his best options to kind of just instantly put them on the ground? Everything. Every Gr grab. He does it a, a Grab, lot. up tilt, down shot. Oh. There you go. Up tilt, shot. Why are you falling out of I'm not even touching your button. I know. You should, you should be getting combo. There we okay. go. That's a combo. So that puts you around the ground ready for. Yeah. And like, then even teams. even narrowing, narrowing over and over in place to safe on block. Mm -hmm. You can do that. Yeah. Uh, dash attack knocks him down. Okay. Which is really good. Like, you can mix it up. You can go, like, boom. You know, just yeah. stupid shit like that. You letting the mine over there is one that's going to divert my attention away from you. Yeah, it's ba it's basically that. doing stuff like this, like you know, just throwing shit out. Like. Yep. Because that right there is going to limit my stage control right there. Because now I'm kind of limited right here. If I jump, you can just neutral light me as soon as I jump over it. So you're basically keeping me to that little area, and keeping me to that little area, I'm restricted into what I can do. And being restricted to what I can do, you can read me easier. You know, like you can predict me better. And then that's gonna put me on the ground like this. Or you know, it's a good combo. <laughs> it's 140. Now, say you get the correct reads when I'm with getting. With sweet up. tooth? Yes, with sweet tooth. You like die. I, that can go into your level one. Why don't you 
demonstrate that. You can. I'm gonna knock you down. And I want you to roll left. Oh, let's. Uh, well, we can force level one. So we always just have level one. All right, first. just roll left. All right. Uh, roll the right. Roll right. Oh, I, oh, no, I went to yeah, get up. Roll, okay. roll left. Yep, it's right there. He guessed correctly. Alright, I don't want to say the word guess. Because when you're actually doing it in a game, it's a little bit of conditioning, a little bit of predicting. Uh, yeah, it's so just get up, just get up. You're dead. Yeah. It's, it, and whenever you're knocked down, when you're sweet to you can kill. Yes. It's just, people need to understand their options. You know, waiting on the ground is the most difficult thing to deal with when you're sweet to. I think he's going to become significantly worse and everybody's good at dealing with wake ups. So you... Alright. So the pros of... Sweet two like, uh, countering uh, get up uh, options. Uh, the moment you get up, as long as you get the read correctly, you're hitting your level one guaranteed. He's dead. Yeah. And getting your level one, you only need 100 AP orbs which, to land it, which, which is pretty uh, small compared to most characters. You have watch. full one bar this is, combos. This is my main combo. It's 90. That's not bad, so you only need 10 more with uh, I, I also have this, which is easier. It's also 90. That's yeah, good. And honestly, like, if I'm blocking at this point, that just gave me five, two more. There we go. Gets his level one. So he builds meter probably the fastest because he has a small AP ratio. It's 1.0. Yeah. He just needs 100. So basically, you're getting level one fast. You're knocking me down easily out of many different uh, hit confirmations, and then you guess correctly, <coughs> you get the level one. So what's really important about that overall is that in order to win a three stock game. Sweet Tooth only needs 300 AP, which is nothing. So. Which is why it bothers me when people complain about level threes. It's like exactly. I can kill you with 300 AP. So and you, you're you're trying to get 700 AP, at least 700 AP for mm -hmm. your level three. Yeah, because like the, the Sackboy level three concept that people. It, it, are kind Sackboy's of about. probably around like oh, I'm gonna do it right now. Let's find out how much he is. I don't know what his ratio is. I wouldn't be surprised. It's 1.5, so but it might be 100 for all I know. Explain the ratio that you, that you uh, uh, basically 1.0 is 100, and then Raiden is 150, so I have 1.5. Uh, now, does that mean like so? Uh, Sweet Tooth needs 700 for his uh, needs, level three. He needs about 750. 750. So you're saying 750 times 1.5 is how much Raiden's going to need for his level three? Not necessarily. Okay, so that's just like your your own kind of variable. You, what, yeah. Well, I'm talking about level one ratio, basically. Okay. It's just uh, whatever. Doesn't matter. Select your level. It most likely is because I know Raiden needs more for his level two than mm -hmm. Sweet Tooth. But it's only slightly more. But either way, it's like 50 more. 300 AP is going to be less than half of what Sackboy needs. And the reason why we're talking about Sackboy is, I'd say of all the characters we've seen so far, he probably has the greatest chance of landing three KOs out of a single level three. So. Well, Let's find out. In a three stock match. I don't know how to use sack You are the yeah. light bulb that has brought glorious light to Whoa. our darkened day. <laughs> Either way though, this is alright. I don't have any invincibility frames on startup, unlike most other suits. No, you do, you do. It's just training mode's different. It is? Okay, alright. Yeah, but like I fucked around really bad in the Yeah. Game. Sackboy and Adventure oh. go together like ice cream You can move a little bit, but like... Yeah, it's separate. not much. And I'm spawning at the ground right there, too. Yeah. I only have to touch you. Okay. Dead. And that's a pretty good time for level 3 compared to, um... Sweet Tooth. I'd say you can't quite land... I know, yeah. I know, I know. You can't quite land 3 KOs. Um, that's 25. He looks like he's. Advise, you have fast. So uh, he has. Uh, that was 100, right? Yeah, so okay. let's do it again. 25. <coughs> 25. 25. 100. It looks like it's 300. Okay. Oh, I grabbed AP. So now even though it's. But yeah, it's like 300. Well, it's like Sweet It's like the same thing as Sweet Tooth. It needs about 700, 750. Okay. So 700, 750, people may complain that that's basically game over. That's and the kind of rules that we're running. But honestly, 700 to 750 AP it's not a big deal. It's not that big of a deal because, as we showed earlier, especially with using your get up options correctly, uh, reading your opponent, knowing how they're going to react when you put them down, Sweet Tooth only needs 300 AP to win a game. He only needs to nair you three times. Nair you three times. But the nair will. 
Or are you talking about the Nair into his super? His light Nair or, okay, yeah. combos into a super yes. from any height. Any if height. If it hits you, he kills you. Mm -hmm. That's what I find beautiful because you're in stun for so long. He's just like, yeah. you're right here. Bam. And you're his dead. lag is very, very minimal from it. Yes. For, for a move that delivers such stun. <laughs> so I think like, that's really like... Getting into like, the early days of this game, I think get-up options is definitely one of the biggest things that people should be worrying about off the bat. Because otherwise, like, you'll get rolled over by Sweet Tooth. There's so many characters that have moves that just put you on the ground instantly. I mean, just my over normal right there is gonna put you right on the ground, and that's all it is. It's just a little normal, and it's gonna set you up for like get-up options already. Right off the or bat. even Sackboy, he has a command grab that knocks you down. And also, I have super armor when I do. You have so. super armor. And also, uh, Big Daddy's Charge also puts you on the ground, as long as you mash it, and then there you go, puts him on the ground right away. I wouldn't say mash, it just well, falls or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. What in the blue blazes has Sackboy's London into now? Oh my. Is there anything else you want to add about uh, get-up options like that? Uh, platforms. Platforms, okay, yeah, good point. So, <coughs> what's important about platforms here, correct me if so I'm wrong, is character. it limits your available <laughs> movement to space so like if you get somebody at an edge of a platform sorry so then it's like it basically takes away one of the options because stand up and roll toward the edge become the same amount of spacing basically it just changes the invincibility frames a little bit i'm just, i'm just going to show the normal options from a roll after throwing somebody onto the platform which is what sweet tooth is the best at and especially small platforms like this i feel like your nair can almost cover the entire platform Almost. Almost close. I, I can I can stand in the middle and then react. Yeah. Um, it's still a very very. But, large but from percentage. right here, like I'll just go. Oh, no, no, just, yeah. Not hard. Uh, I want you to roll right. Right. Okay. That's see, see, right you're there. Dead. Oh. Killing is my curse. You don't even have to tell me. Like honestly, like it's one of those situations. Like just, I'll just. Try to figure out the best way to get him around it. I could have. The option I numbers. tried to pick there was I tried to jump on wake up and air dodge, but I hit you out of it. Yeah. And even then, it's like there you go. Waiting's yeah. good too. Exactly. That's that's what uh, I tried that time. But here's the number one up. thing that the game actually tells you how to do that nobody read. Uh, I'm trying to think of moves that you knock me down with that I'd be landing on the platform. <laughs> uh, you could do that to me on the platform. Do that. Uh. Yes. Right, so you can teleport through the platform by holding block and hitting down and jump. You will block, fall through so it. You're so you're on the ground and you're hitting down and jump at the same time, and that's going to drop you a throw immediately. Yes. Or even in the middle of throws, like Raiden's. Now, what I kind of like about that, which is almost like a mind game in so a way. Pick, now, the, pick Raiden. Let's wipe Raiden, okay. out. What are we so waiting for? Now, when we talked about the option of jumping out of uh, the get up right away that's st you still watch your character get up that's more of a good option because of the advantage it has because you can jump on frame one and you're avoiding the grab but what's interesting about dropping through a platform is about the mind game because you can be staying down like the waiting method i did to avoid a super yes. but all of a sudden instead of rolling for invincibility frames you can just drop all of a sudden and it, it completely opens up a whole new option um the problem about using the jump option on the wake up on the platform is if it's for Sweet Tooth, he can just read that, or if he reads it, get up. If he's right here mm -hmm. and he knows when you're gonna get up, here you go, dead. <laughs> yep. So if he knows when you're gonna get up, it doesn't matter what you do unless you wait. Yeah. Uh, do forward throw. Forward throw. Mm -hmm. Okay. You can fall through by hitting down and jump. Okay. Now that's during the animation. Like I've never seen that actually happen like yes. during the middle of a throw. Yes. Okay. Try that to me. I'll just <laughs> Okay. No, 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 you didn't do it right. There you go. I don't think I hit anybody at that time. Do it to me. Is it just the edge there? No. Uh, I wasn't even trying, to be honest. Doesn't matter, you got it. Okay. <laughs> I want to get the specific time for it. Do it to me again. Do it again. Oh, I think you just hold down, actually. Okay. Do it again. Sorry. 
still gonna get some Yeah, you just hold down, you fall through the platform while getting thrown by Raiden. It also applies to other throws, but certain throws you get comboed anyway mm -hmm. because you get tossed after. Considering Raiden's one of the star characters, I say, like, kind of shining out at the beginning of the metagame. Anything you can get like that is. It's very really good though. because otherwise he'd kill you on a platform when he grabs you, but he exactly. can't. So camping platforms versus him can be good. Now, Raiden is known for. Um, Com like comboing into level one super out of his throw. Is that only his down throw or other throws as well? That's only his forward throw. Is oh, his forward throw? Okay. His forward throw. Oh. Very simple combo. Mm -hmm. um, his other throws does that, which is really, really bad because you can actually move before he can, and his other throw just throws you. <laughs> like, what the hell? Uh. Yeah, it pretty much covers the platforms. Yeah. Is there any, I mean, there's some other it's kind it's of... Uh, try to hit me. I could charge it. What the hell? I could charge the fish. I'm charging the fish. Hold on. <laughs> Come here, buddy. Hit me. <laughs> so there, there's also some other things in stages. Like, that's bottom ground. That's platform. <laughs> Uh, there is a stage or two that has a conveyor belt, uh, air that pushes you around, but it's really the same basic concept except it pushes you around a little bit. So that can uh, change your get up options a little bit because say you roll one way but there's air pushing you the other way like on uh, Nathan Drake's stage. So <coughs> it's going to so modify a little bit. Still gets the combo. Somebody asked, I think Pitcher asked about Dante's ratio. I don't know what it is. Okay, we'll check that Probably out. Probably like 150. Sackboy getting level 3 is not a big deal. Just stay on top of him. If you rush him down, he can't get meter. That's what I do. The biggest way Sackboy is going to get his meter is by camping. He's going to be throwing projectiles. That's basically so, what excels at. So the best way to actually learn how to rush down Sackboy is to understand what moves are yours to break his traps. Exactly. Sweet Tooth can throw his uh, his uh, cocktail fire. Just so it, what does it, that take out his cakes? It takes out everything. Even the ball too? I don't know about the ball, but that's it, that's like, not a projectile. I'm worried about traps. Okay. Traps are what matters. Balls, whatever. Yeah. Air, not sure. Uh, he wants to know the ratio. Get the hell out of that does 40. Yeah. That looks like it's a lot Other. more than. It's fine. Forty. Well, it's probably gonna be about 200. Like. Eighty. Twenty. Oh no, one fifty. 15, 15. That's one. That's 150 right there. Uh, he's 160. Okay. I believe. Let me just do it one more time. Okay. <coughs> one. Two. Three. Yeah. He's 160. Okay. Anything else about uh, wake up options? Oh, uh, that pretty much covered most of it. Okay. Uh, and, uh, everything else would be like specific on how characters can cover a lot yeah. of wake up options. Really, just experiment because I mean, now that you it's, know the different options you have, you can look at the moves that you have and utilizing moves such as Sweet Tooth, uh, Aerial and Air. Yeah, Sweet and, Tooth. Um, yeah. Sweet Tooth's like one of the best tech chasers because all of his moves, even his grab, sets up to yeah. knocking you down. Exactly. The, just the fact that the one, the backflip throw. You're able to do it from down there on practice stage one, or practice stage small one, and it Select puts you right on the platform. Character. The platform <laughs> get-up options are so much more limited than any others in the game. So, especially playing on stages like this, and if you're playing a tournament set and you have the counter pick, this might be a good counter pick for Tweet Tooth because you have that option of throwing. It's one of his best platform. stages, yeah. easily, because he has the down throw into the platform. Exactly, that's really key in this in this game. Get-up options. And also, he has this over here. He has, uh, you know, he just. Okay. Boom, boom. Now you're on that platform. How do you think walls affect get up options? Is it more like a platform where it just eliminates one of the options? Um, on platforms, it it limits your roll options. Well, now what about against a wall? Uh, against a wall? Yeah. Well, you can't roll behind me. I can't just, roll behind you. you well, if I well if I stand here. Yeah. Can't roll behind me. Now, go back to that same distance right there, and I'm gonna roll like away. Yeah, yeah. You, 
take it away. Well, it's awkward, yeah. But I'm just trying to knock it down. So that one move right there covered. It will cover standing up correctly, or correct? Yeah. It'll cover it, it, standing it's safe, up. It's safe on. You have to wait. Just have to wait. If you throw it with two yeah, signing like, off, he. If you make him wait, it's terrible. So like, he, if you wait, like he just sat off, you know. And then he has a mine behind him, and then there's characters like Raiden, like mm -hmm. if Sweet Tooth's fighting a character like Raiden, he always wants a mine right there, and he's gonna fight him because if he gets grabbed by by Raiden, you know what's gonna happen? He's gonna just hold. Yeah, that's gonna happen. <laughs> he can't kill him off a throw. Yeah. That's why I think Sweet Tooth at least goes even with Raiden. Mm -hmm. He just goes, Bolt, I'm gonna yep. fight you now. Bolt, I'm gonna fight so you now. when he grabs and do the combo, Raiden will get hit. He'll get hit, unless he grabs you right on top of the mine, which is yeah. where you're not supposed to be. Mm -hmm. um. <coughs> when you're against the wall, honestly, any of your immediate get-up actions, at least a character like Sweet Tooth can easily cover, so can many other characters. So generally, the way to counter that is the weight on the ground, and then kind of mix up your get-up. But remember, if the Sweet Tooth expects, like, alright, I know if he gets up, I got him. No problem. Just get the place. <laughs> You're dead. Yeah, exactly. So, if I if I feel like being ballsy, I can just run to the wall. I'm going to knock you again. Knock you down again. Okay. I want you to roll towards the wall. Okay. <laughs> You're dead. So that doesn't auto-correct, correct? Like, that was no, I, I ran against the wall, and it does it to everybody. Okay. So, because I run behind you. Mm -hmm. If I'm like touching you and I do it, I grab you. He, he like, kind of goes like. Oh, I see what you're saying. Here you go. And that's pretty much it. Yeah, so that's get up options and uh, PlayStation All Stars Battle Royale in a nutshell. But uh, enhance your game, kind of learn more about this, and uh, so now that you know all the options, take your main, find out what kind of moves they have that are like Sweet Tooth, Sword, like that. And they kind of help cover more options and it really puts your opponent in a bad spot and it's going to help bring you more kills. So, uh, I want to thank you all for watching. Check out our other videos uh, online, subscribe to our channels, and uh, check out more content by us for PlayStation All-Stars.